time it is. Guess what time it is? May boxy charm. What's on my hands? I'm getting like greasy fingerprints all over it. I'm very happy this arrived um, before I took my trip to New York. So I'm going to New York and New Jersey in next week with my mom, brother, and Thomas. And I was really hoping this would arrive before then so I could get it filmed, uploaded, and stop being late on my videos. Um, so it did arrive. The time is nigh. Let's open it. If you hear any like rumpling around or like loud bangs or anything, um, Thomas and my mom, like right now, Thomas and my mom are putting in a um, an AC unit like just one of the small portable ones because our AC is broken and that's a pretty penny to fix. So in the meantime, to curve us over, we are doing a portable one because it's supposed to get to like 91 degrees today because Minnesota doesn't know what spring is. So if you hear anything, that's why. Bam. The theme is super bloom. I don't know, not the most creative card. I think it's supposed to be like a close-up of like a petal. I don't know why I care so much about the cards, but I'm, I love to see what cards they choose. Without looking, the first product I'm gonna grab is called Item. It's an item. Item. It's an air hug concealer. Is this the one I chose? Why is it always the first one I pull out of the box? The What I'm wondering if I chose. Because I swear it's like the one on top. Mm, I think this is the one that I chose. Oh, that's a thick tube. That's a good amount of product, I feel like, unless it's just deceiving me and it's all glass. But I feel like that's a good amount of product. That's a thick tube. I was really nervous because it's hard to tell what shade you are online. And they, they did give you like an array of options, but half of them were uh, sold out or like already pre-chosen which kind of bothers me a little bit but I think this is gonna be a pretty good match for me let's see what the card says item beauty by Addison Ray oh this is an Addison Ray concealer um, called air hug concealer when you need to course correct this medium to full coverage concealer is the way to go this lightweight formula features Karika papaya fruit extract to deliver a boost of yummy antioxidants like vitamin C and lends a smooth, seamless finish. Its pillowy texture glides on effortlessly and melts into your skin without a crease in sight. Interesting that it's supposed to be a lightweight formula, but it's also medium to full coverage. If that's true, I think I'll really enjoy it. A lot of the um, concealer and foundation I use on a daily basis tends to be more on the light to medium coverage. And while sometimes that's really nice, especially when the oils come out of my skin, it doesn't get all cakey looking. But at the same time, sometimes I'd like the extra coverage. It says it melts into your skin without a crease in sight. So that would be nice. I hate, 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 hate crepey eyes. I hate when I'm underneath my eyes look like a crinkly bag. It drives me nuts. So I hope that this does not do that. This retails for $18. All right, next product in the box is the Cosmetic Liquid Velvet Lipstick. Ooh. When I took this out of the contain the box, the, the container the, the when i took this out i almost thought this was the same one that i put on my lips today but no this one's definitely more pinker more pink than what i have on today is more of a reddish mauve reddish mauve i do think it looks a little more red on camera than it actually is but it's like a mauve anyhow this one's a little more pink than that kind of a fun summer color i will give them that this is in the shade bubbly unlike any other lip color you've ever seen this liquid velvet lipstick is the product capital the product you need to add to your makeup kit formulated to be creamy lightweight and long wearing make a unique statement with your fashion forward vibe and this retails for 22 dollars Okie dokie, next in the box is Skin Ink Supplement Bar Serum Glow Filter. It says Hydra Micro Capsule. Oh, 
pretty. It's so pretty. Look at That's cool. That's cool. I'm just mesmerized by like the by the floating beads. It's pretty. This is Skin Ink Ooh, Serum Glow Filter. Retails for $50. Glow up with the world's first skincare makeup serum glow filter. Blending beauty and technology in one bottle. This clever concoction is formulated with rare gold hibiscus extract and Skin Ink's top two best-selling serums, niacinamide and hyaluronic acid, to give you a selfie filter in real life. It's perfect for day use and is personalized to your skin tone using light reflective technology that enables external light to bounce off your skin, creating a glowy pearlized finish and reduced appearance of pores and red skin tone. Whoa. So this is like a primer and essentially it's going to brighten your skin because it's got a certain light reflective technology that makes light bounce off your skin and create a glow. I always get a little confused when it says technology in terms of makeup. You know, if they said like an ingredient, like a light reflective ingredient, I'd be like, okay. But a light reflective technology in here, what's the technology in here? It's makeup. It's not techy. I don't know if I completely understand it, but I hope it works. Next in the box, ooh, this is light. This is like air. This is Yesna, which I, I recognize the brand. We've gotten stuff from Yesna in the past. Another spongy. Cool, cool. You know, I was complaining a couple months ago that we got too many sponges, but I've been using them ever since. And I, I, I did realize that not all sponges are created equal. All of the sponges that I've been getting in my boxy charm have made me realize even more that my real techniques is the best. <laughs> I, I think it's, I used to always think that like all sponges were the same. And granted they're very similar, but some sponges have bigger pores in them and uh, versus the real techniques does not have big pores. And I don't know, it's just the way that the ones with the big pores make my skin, my foundation look. I just don't really like it as much as my real technique one. So this one, oh, it feels really, what's the word I'm gonna look for? It feels really cushiony, almost like Play-Doh in a, in a way, obviously not Play-Doh, it, it keeps its shape, but it's really cushiony and firm and cushiony and soft. And it's also a unique shape. We haven't gotten this shape in um, any of the past boxes. So. This is Yesna Skin on Skin Beauty Sponge. This Skin on Skin Beauty Sponge gives you a full coverage, but skin-like finish. Multi-purpose and reusable with a gentle wash after a use, gentle on skin. And this retails for $18. And last in the box, the previous product was extremely light. This one's extremely heavy. It's Milk Dew pH Balancing Moisture Milk Toner with vegan probiotics and prickly pear extract. This is like a full size product. Like I know BoxyCharm is always full size product, but this is like a full, that is humongous. How many, how big is this? This is four ounces. Maybe it's just the container, the glass container that makes it so heavy. Okay. Huh, I don't smell anything. And this is by Glow Oasis. Give thirsty skin a drink of mildew. Milk dew. Ew. <laughs> when I read that, I was like, give your skin mildew? That's disgusting. But I don't question it because like, remember the algae, under eye algae um, patches we got and whatnot? I don't question. When they tell us ingredients in this, I'm just like, okay, I trust it must be right because there's been some weird ingredients like in sea moss and algae and this and that that you never would think to put on your skin, but that apparently do good things. So I read mil mildew and I was like, okay, interesting. But no, milk dew. This toner meets moisturizer, features a blend of apricot kernel oil, soybean extract, and sicca, I think that's how you say it, sicca extract to deeply hydrate, condition, and soothe the skin. It's the perfect energy boost needed to revitalize dull, dehydrated skin. With its pH balancing formula, this vegan toner improves the skin texture and tone. It also helps remove any last traces of dirt or 
excess oil that can cause breakouts or irritation. And this retails for $34. I hope that this does a good job of evening out my skin tone. Let's start with the ever mysterious glow filter that's supposed to have light reflective technology and it's supposed to give you a pearlized finish, reduce the appearance of pores and red skin tone. I didn't get any pearls. Do you think that you don't get pearls when it's... Oh, 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 maybe a little there. It's so weird. The pearls in it are kind of like, it reminds me of like a crushed up vitamin a little bit. You can even see some of the pieces there. Doesn't have much of a smell. It definitely glides. I look kind of glowy, right? Right, right, right without feeling oily, which is nice. I don't know if I really feel like it filled in my pores a bunch. Like I can definitely still see them. They don't look that blurred. It feels really nice on the skin. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. All right, I'm killing two birds, one stone here because I did the Yesna sponge, which I wetted and then the concealer. I've actually already used both. I first started with the concealer underneath everything, like around my, the corners of my mouth and underneath my eye, and I used the pointed side. And then I did the flat side for my foundation, which I loved, love, love, loved. I really love the um, material of this. Very spongy, not too porous, wonderful. And the straight side was perfect for going around the, my nose there. And then now I'm just gonna also go over one more time with another coat of concealer just underneath my eyes. I would say that this is a medium coverage concealer, but I'm loving the formula of it. Um, it's just, it's a little, I probably would have gotten a shade lighter um, if I were picking in store. But that being said, it still has a beautiful formula. It does not get too cakey. It look makes your under eye look very moisturized as opposed to um, dried out, you know. It just has such a smooth, flawless look to it. My only concern is if it's going to crease much, I'm gonna set it pretty good with a um, the Beauty Bakery Fine Powder so that it doesn't, because I think it would otherwise. But yeah, both the sponge and the concealer. Get a thumbs up for me. Last but not least is the V Cosmetic Creamy Velvet, Creamy Liquid Velvet Lipstick. Something like that. Really fun summery color. Um, I think the formula is really nice. It's a thin liquid lipstick formula, dries really fast. I give this a thumbs up too. So this box retailed for $142 which is wonderful. Less than last month. Last month was like 210 or something like that, but it was also way more than normal because we had that $100 eye serum. I still have it near me. Um, so $142 and you spend less than 30. So that's really awesome value. Let me know if what you got in your box and if you um, got anything similar, if you tried it all, if you liked it, you didn't like it. All right, it's been a few hours. I went to work came home, decided, I'm actually still in my work uniform. I decided I didn't like the original outro I filmed, so I was like, oh, I'll just re-record it, no big deal. So anyway, I wanted to say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please like and subscribe. It helps me know that people are actually watching and enjoy this. And if you have any ideas for future videos or if there's any other subscription boxes you'd like to see me try, please comment down below. I'm totally open. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your May and I'll see you next time. Bye.